Mrs. Can you swim? He was all of ten, red-headed and freckled, and he was clinging to the slipway handrail as the waves washed in all over us. Can you swim out there, like where it's deep? I told him I could. Will you bring me, Mrs. My brothers are all gone off. So we swam between the slipway and the steps down at Sea Point, never too far from the shore, over and back, over and back, until I was blue with the cold, and he was happy, as happy as a ten-year-old swimming his heart out can be. I know all about it. My favourite memories are to do with swimming, practising that flutter kick for the crawl until my legs ached, hurling myself into the water with sickening smacks until I finally worked out how to dive. Desperately trying a racing turn, but coming up sideways, spluttering like a drowning duck, and after it all, that final swim of the day, when the water soothed your limbs, and then you trailed off to get dressed, dripping and toged and triumphant, because you were the very last person to leave the water. Life doesn't come much better than this when you're ten. But if you're seven or eight or nine or ten, and you live in Coolock or Sean McDermott Street or Crumlin, it looks like you're going to lose your local swimming pool at the end of this summer, because Dublin City Council officials, not the councillors, they're against it. Dublin City Council officials have said that the government will have to cut up to half a billion off local government funding this year, and the council won't have money to run these three pools. Well, you know, there was a time when Irish nationalists pointed to the padlocked swings in Belfast city parks on Sundays as an example of the mean-spiritedness of the northern Protestant state. What will the padlocked doors of Coolock, Sean McDermott Street and Crumlin Pools say about this state, where children go without their swims to bail out Anglo-Irish Bank? There's mean for you. Mean in the full dictionary definition of the word. Ignoble ungenerous, stingy, all things that we Irish like to think we're not. I remember the excitement in my little village in the 60s when they started to build a swimming pool eight miles away. We are river swimmers and we looked through the wire fence as they filled that pool for the first time and we envied people who lived there in Bagnestown. Jerry McGuigan remembers the excitement 